Hello, welcome to What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we'll take a look at the motion controller. Okay, let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. And the motion controller is kind of new. We haven't put it in its proper place yet exactly, but we can find out a news article on it. So we'll click News. And there it is right there. Zim 4.8 launches with motion controller and gamepad. And hopefully in here there's an example link. Yeah, there it is. Zimjs.com slash code slash controller. And we'll click and let's take a look at it. So it's a butterfly, and if I press the mouse down, so I click there, look, the butterfly heads towards it. And now if I press over here, the butterfly heads towards it over there. And each time the butterfly heads, the butterfly faces the direction it's going. The controller handles mouse down. The controller also handles mouse move. So we press now, and you can see that the, the object that we're controlling is following the, the, the mouse. <clears throat> key down. So we can now use keys, and so I'm pressing the keys. You can see that they're rather square-like, but you can diagonal, you can choose to make the diagonal work as well with key, key down. And game button. Do I have a game controller attached? I don't. But if I had a game controller, then I can use the, the, the D-pad and stuff in the game controller. And a game stick, we can use the game stick to control it. Oh, I see the controller over there on the other computer. And then swiping is kind of a silly one. You can sort of swipe to the one side and swipe to the other side. And that might be good for controlling something on a mobile device, perhaps. A swipe is more natural than a, the mouse down. The mouse down would probably work fine too. It's like, that's like a press. Okay, so uh, we're going to take a look at how we can do that. This example, if you look at the source of this, it's nicely commented, etc. But it is an example that has six different techniques all enrolled in one. There is, a, let's see if we go back to where we were before, if there's a link to the simple one. There is a simple, oh yeah, right there, simple. So we'll click this and, and there it is, just one thing. And we're using the mouse and that thing zipping around in the mouse. So there is a simple one as well with mouse or the arrows. So in the case of the mouse, you're welcome to say which keys you're going to do to control that. Okay, so close that down, take a look at some code, a motion controller, right? Alrighty, so here we are in a Zim fit template with much, increase the size of that a bit for you. And we'll add something to the stage. Var, shall we add a rect? A rect is equal to a new Zim, well, let's call it, we can make it a, well, we'll make it a box, whatever. New box is equal to a new zim dot rectangle, and we'll make it a hundred by a hundred, and frame dot purple. Okay, we'll add it to the stage dot center, and we should center reg probably center reg on the stage. That way, if we spin it, it will look better. I think rather than spinning it from a corner. Uh, let's take a look. So view this in a browser. There should be a rectangle on the stage. Now we'll try controlling that, I suppose, with the key press uh, to begin. So we can say, of our controller, for instance, var controller equals a new zim dot controller. And we'll go to the Zim Duo technique and pass in a bunch of parameters. First of all, we have to say the container. And that will be the stage in this case. Uh, the target, and that will be the box in this case. <laughs> the pod. <laughs> the box. <laughs> um, and now that I believe would handle uh, enough to, to do the default. Shall we see what the defaults are in that? I think it's press though. So we save this and uh, <laughs> well something went wrong. Control. Okay. Zim controller is not a constructor. Oh. 
Uh, motion controller. Woohoo! Motion controller. Okay, my apologies. Um, uh, the motion controller. So a new sim motion controller. Save that. Refresh. There it is showing up. And if I press, and now the box puts its registration point. See, I press here, and the registration point of the box goes to it. Okay. So if we want a key press, then we would have to say type is a key down, key down, like so. And now keys will control that. We'll see what the defaults are with the keys. So if I hold the right, it goes right, left. And so it does seem to go all directions and diagonal as well with the arrows and with WASD are both moving those along with the keys. So we can apply damping to that so it doesn't move it directly. We can let it rotate. Should we try the rotate and see what happens? Comma, rotate colon true, like that. And we add that way, it didn't seem to do anything. Oh, there, on the angle, on the angle we can see it. Oh, it must rotate it so quickly that it's not animating the rotation, it's just changing the direction. So if we go on an angle, uh, so if, if we had some way to see which direction this was going, how about we'll uh, adjust our box a little bit. We'll go var uh, window, we'll make it a car, top of a car, I suppose. Let's make it a bit longer, so 200 var window, is equal to, oh, that's a bad variable, var, um, <laughs> pane, I guess, a window pane, is equal to a new zim dot rectangle, and we'll make this one, I don't know, what, like 30 and 100. Let's see, that's in the X, this is long and that, and you can have a color of frame dot pink, and then we'll dot add to the box. <laughs> let's, let's just see what it looks like and then we'll make some adjustments. Hmm, I can't tell. I think it just put a rectangle there and we want the rectangle to be right over here on the right hand side and not as wide. So we'll make it 80 and not 800 and we will say dot move i guess or dot pose either one dot move we'll move it over in the x it's 200 we'll move so we'll move it over 100 and uh, 170. we better move it down a bit 10. okay <laughs> will it be a car with a window uh, <laughs> don't know. Let's move it back a bit to 140, we'll say, and refresh here. And there we go. Good enough. So that's our car, and it's heading off to the right. And if we, there, it heads off to the right. Now it's heading to the left. Now it's heading up. Now it's heading down. And now it's heading diagonally. <laughs> Oops. Uh, we see we didn't put any limit as to where it can go, but we're driving our car. <laughs> Boy, does that ever spin around quickly. What's with this spin? I think I saw in the example that we got that um, damping. I wonder if we add some damping to that, if that just automatically spin better. Or perhaps I didn't notice damp of 0.1. And let's see if the spin doesn't go immediately, but rather takes a little bit to turn. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now that is a, an overview. Now what I'm doing is I'm using the keys to turn right, to, to go up, to, etc. Uh, I'm not going first person, and there is actually a first person, which uh, I can't remember how to do that. Let's pop that into the Zim, to the Zim, and go to the docs and type in, oh, you know what? I don't even know if this is in the docs. Yeah, it must be. I launched it. So what was this called again? A motion controller, a MOT motion controller and move threshold, flip, damp, diagonal, axis, rect, speed, type. What about the type? Oh no, type we already talked about. It must be something else. Target containers, stick thresholds, flip, dance, diagonal. 
No, let's just uh, scroll type set to mouse move manual. No, that's not it. Rect. Diagonal, damp. Well, what were the types? Key down, mouse down. Hmm, axis, default, both are horizontal. Speed. Mapping the keys with the motion controller. That doesn't do it. Diagonal damp, flip, root, constant. First person. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, you see a first person in there? <laughs> the documentation got... Mm, I'll have to adjust that. So first person should be in amongst up here. But uh, there it is, first person. So we want the first person to be true, set true for key down, game button, and game controller. They can all go to first person. There's also a turn speed. So that's um, in first person mode, how quickly you're turning based on the speed. But uh, we'll just leave it at the default for that. So first person true. Hey, would have guessed that. Comma, first person, colon, true. And I'll have to remember to update the documentation properly there. So we refresh here. We've got our keys. And now I'm in first person. I have to remember what to do here. So a W... Oh, my first person is, is, is kind of set up wrong. Do you know, uh, did you see what I did there? My car, like it's working, except now I'm doing the car sideways. So first person needs to start with the car facing up. So... Uh, Let's see the car facing up. We've got a box. I wonder if we just rotate the box minus 90 dot rot. It may not because first person is going to be controlling the, the rotation. So we'll give it a go, but it's doubtful. So um, let's see. So now if I W4, no, it's still broken. So we can't fake it like that. Um, we could put it in a container. But we want our car starting up, so we'll go 100. Do we just change these to 30 and 80? Like that. Uh, what would that mean? And this was 200. Oh, we've got to move. Let's see if we swap these and leave it 10 and 140. Except uh, I don't think that's going to be it. Moved in 10 and only about 10. 10. Okay, let's see what happens now. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, what do you know? It's a car. And now I'm moving in first person forward and turning right, turning left. Cool. So now I'm just holding down the forward key and moving it forward. Okay, so I have key control moving it forward. And you can do that with the, you can make the joysticks of the, uh, of the game controllers as well. Uh, work through that. Tell you what we'll do. We've, we've gone on with this bubble a little bit. It's been a cute bubble to move a car around, but let's um, let's leave the uh, joystick controller until I get some joysticks uh, or the game controllers gamepad, I guess, put in there, and we'll do another capture on the gamepad itself. Woohoo! Or another bubbles on the game capture. I am Inventor Dan Zen, and this has been. What's bubbling at Zim? We've got a new motion controller. Wicked! Ciao.